Okay, so to begin the DIY, you're gonna take your Dollar Tree chopping mats. Now you do get two in a package. So one package will make four candy pieces. Now you're gonna measure in half of the chopping mat. You'll just draw a line, cut that in half so that you have two pieces. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to take half of the one chopping mat and I'm just going to make a cylinder shape. Then I'm going to take my stapler and I'm just going to staple that down just to hold it in place until I can glue it down with some hot glue. So you do that to both ends. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my hot glue, just run a bead inside there, hold it down, and I will repeat this step five more times. Okay, so now that I have cut my cylinder shapes, I am going to cut a circle. Um, here you can see is the seam of where I attach them but on the other side I want to cut a circle out because I'm going to be inserting this tea light candle now I had these on hand and I did purchase these at the Dollar Tree but you can use any tea light candle that you like so the way I cut my circle is I just insert the candle inside of the cylinder now again, you just want to make sure that you're not drawing the circle where that seam is. You're going to go on the other end of that and you're just going to place the circle up against the chopping mats. Now I'm just going to take my pencil and I'm just going to trace that circle just like that. Now it doesn't have to be perfect. I would always recommend that you cut it just a little bit smaller just to make sure that you're not going to be cutting it too big. But if you stay on the line and you just cut on the line, you probably will have to cut a little bit around it anyway just so that the candle fits in easily. So now that I have that traced, I'm just going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut that circle out. Now when you're doing this, you want to be careful you just go very slowly just squeeze the cylinder down and then take the point of your scissors and then just give it a little um, pressure and it should cut through now you want to be careful not to go too deep with your scissors because a lot of times just as it happened here it will crack now my crack is still inside of the circle but if you do it too fast and then again you go too deep with your scissors you may have a crack outside of that line now if that does happen don't worry about it just take some hot glue and then apply it over top and let it dry and it'll hold it in place so that it doesn't continue to crack so now that I have a line through my circle I can just insert my scissors inside of the chopping mat and then cut that circle out now again just be very careful take your time and eventually your hole will be cut out now I already went ahead and I um, have one cut out here so here's my circle and then you just want to make sure that your candle fits in there nicely you know just a little bit snug not too tight and definitely not too loose but um, once you have that in place just you want to double check to make sure your candle is working and then we can move on to the next step I'm just going to go ahead finish doing this to the other five and then as I said we'll move on to the next step okay so I'm going to insert the cylinder inside of the bag now I didn't mention this when you go to trace your 
tea light so that you can cut the hole out as best as you can just center it on the cylinder. Okay so now inserting the cylinder into the bag you can see that the one side here I've left it so that you can see um, inside but the other end I had taped it so it's going to stay in this red and white pattern on this side here. So now I'm just going to take another piece of tape and then all I'm going to do is bring up the one end to the opening here and then with the top I'm just going to pull it nice and snug and then I'm just going to tape that down on either side of that opening for the tea light candle. Okay. Now it doesn't have to be perfectly in that clear space, but just enough to um, keep it on the bottom here. And then again, the top will be completely covered with the red and white. Now I am going to poke a hole here in the center so that my tea light candle will be able to come through. And this way I can turn the, bat, the candle on and off. So what I'm gonna do before I cut it is I'm going to take another two pieces of tape and I'm just going to place them on the inside half on the cylinder and then half on the bag just so that it stays in place when I go to cut it Okay, so now I'm going to take my scissors and just poke a hole through where that opening of the tea light candle is and then I'm just going to cut another opening for the candle to come through. Cut the opening through the treat bag and now I'm just going to take my tea light candle and then insert that back inside the cylinder and then put that through. Now with this here I'm just going to use some more tape to hold that all down in place. So this will keep any part of the cello bag, if it was cut, it'll just keep it all secured down and give it a nicer finish around the tea light candle. Now these tea light candles do have a saying on them. So you want to try to not expose any of the writing. Just try to keep it tucked in if you end up using these same ones. But nevertheless, these will be facing the back so it's not like you'll see it anyway. Okay, so now that is all taped in place.
Now I need to finish the other five before I can attach the candies together on the string. So what I'll be using is actually ribbon and I used the, or I purchased the red and white stripe ribbon from the Dollar Tree. Okay, so I thought I would just show you quickly how I string the candy on the ribbon. Now I take my roll of ribbon and I completely remove all of the rib ribbon from the cardboard. Then I am just going to double this up and I'm just going to put the ribbon through the cylinder here. Until it comes out on the other end. There we go. Okay, so now on each end of the candy garland, I will leave about a foot of the ribbon so that I can tie the garland up. And that's a foot from the edge of the end of the wrapper here. So now once I have that in there, I'm then going to cut a few pieces of length equally, um, equal in length. And these ends are going, or these pieces of ribbons are going to be the ribbon that ties each end of the candy. So once I have this piece cut, I will then cut this piece in half, just so that I can stretch my ribbon out a little bit because I'm not sure, I hope I have enough. So once I cut that in half, I will take one of the halves and then I will gather the cellophane here or the treat bag and I will just tie that in place. Now I will double knot that but I'm just showing you quickly here. Then I'll take my other half and do the same. Now you want to remember when you pull your ribbon through to always make sure that your ribbon, the right side, is facing outwards. This particular ribbon is just white on the back, it's plain white, so I want to make sure that I see the shiny side facing me. So now I'll just take my other half, again gather the treat bag, and then tie that off. Then you're just going to figure out how much space you want in between each piece of candy and then leave that amount of space for each one. Again, making sure that the ribbon is facing toward, the right side is facing towards you. So the one in behind me, I've already strung two on my piece of ribbon. I'm gonna go ahead and place the other ones on the ribbon. Once I have them all on there, I'll place this um, either on my mantle or my staircase to show you what it looks like all lit up. Okay, so I'm on my fourth piece of candy that I've strung onto my ribbon, but my ribbon is ended. This ribbon comes in a nine foot length. So now I just took another roll and I fold it over the end here, as you can see, and glued that down. And then I'm just going to apply some glue to the end of this ribbon and place this piece on top. This way, by gluing this piece over, it'll just give it a nicer finish. And then I'll continue stringing on my last two pieces of candy. Alright everyone, so here is the Dollar Tree Candy Garland. And I absolutely love how this has turned out. So as you can see, I have decided to display it on my staircase and I think it looks perfect here and I will be leaving it because I really like it. Now I also added some Dollar Tree scarves here at the banister in the center of the staircase and as well at the top but you can't see it. And I really love using these scarves for decor 
It's very inexpensive, yet it really gives you a very nice, warm, and cozy feel to any room. I also added a berry bouquet in the center of them, just to add a little something more. Now, as you can see on the candy, I went ahead and added the felt glitter stickers. Now, I listed them as optional because I know many of you have said that you've not come across them at your Dollar Tree. But if you do, I would get them because they look really beautiful in this DIY. It just adds a little something more to this. And I'm so happy I was able to find a couple more packages because I've had trouble find finding them as well. Now here you see it with the lights on. I'm going to go ahead and shut the lights off to show you what it looks like because it is so pretty all lit up. Okay, and there are my Dollar Tree glass candies as well. But look how pretty that looks. And I just love how the letters come through from the felt stickers. So again, so, so happy with how this has turned out. Well, that'll do it for this DIY, guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I had so much fun making it, and now I will enjoy it for the winter season. If you liked this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. And as always, guys, take care, and I so hope to catch it in my next video. Bye-bye.